West England and along the South Coast, most of the time I think it'll turn up as rain. Well, let's put a little bit more detail on that for you for tonight. If you're like me and you don't know an isobar from a cold front, then these old style weather charts probably won't mean very much to you. It's only when expert weathermen like Bill Giles and his colleagues stick on familiar symbols like these that I have any idea of what's going on. A chart like this uses about 80 metres of black rubber magnetic tape and takes the weatherman about 45 minutes to prepare. On a bad day when everything goes wrong, it has been known for the symbols to fall off and a sunny period with showers can drop away into the unknown. Weathermen Bill Giles and Michael Fish have been forecasting the weather using the old system for 10 years. You'd be glad to know we're not chasing balloons today. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah, we're no good today. <laughs> now, can you tell me about these new changes then in the weather? Yes, what we're doing, in fact, is uh, changing over to an electronic system. Uh, Mike, in fact, at the moment, is looking at the Atlantic chart, but you notice that there are no fronts on there. Um, so what he's doing now is putting on the lows and the fronts electronically. The lads have developed it in a very simple way for us, which they've got to do, of course, mm. uh, knowing what we're like. Um, but it does make it much more simple. Yeah. So are, are you saying there's going to be drastic changes in the way you present the weather in the future? Yes, I think this is the thing. It's the way that we present it. Um, it's going to be visually superb. Yeah. You know, it really will be fantastic. Um, and we've got a lot more flexibility. Instead of just having an Atlantic chart, one satellite picture, one today chart, one tonight chart, we're going to have a whole mass of yeah. them. We can show you um, these charts 36 hours ahead as a movie. We've got rainfall charts all into the future, 36 hours ahead. This is a big change. Yeah, by just pressing a button, you'll see the rainfall pattern moving. Are you looking forward to using the new technology, Michael? Very much. It's going to be such a complete change. It's a wonderful system. In fact, I think we can probably call it a world beater, really. Mm. The secret of the new look weather lies in the computer software which has updated the old magnetic symbols. This clever little box is called a mouse and it's linked up to an arrow on the screen called a cursor. The weatherman selects a symbol and puts it where he likes. Could I have a go with the mouse and put some symbols in? Yeah, of course you can. Get the mouse out of its cage and sit down and have a go. Oh, thanks. What about the fish? Do you use that as well as the mouse, or is that just an ornament? We have to use him occasionally. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that, that, that one. That one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now, it's like his uh, owner, it's just uh, an ornament. <laughs> <laughs> right, now. Right. If you pull back, you can see the little arrow. Right. Select what symbol you want on the left hand side. So just press the mouse, press the top of the mouse. Right. It'll pick up the symbol and then bring it back right. and put it wherever you want on the chart. Right, it's right over the television. And now click it. Just another click to place it. Right. Raining on Percy's fuchsias. What's that one? Is that a moon? Is that the moon? That one? No, no, that's a temperature <laughs> one. But we don't oh, really want to try I'll one of them at the moment. Sun, I'll put the sun. All right, on. have a sun. A bit like Space Invaders, isn't it? Oh, it's good. <laughs> oh, no, you're all right. You're yeah. all right. Yeah, go I'll on. bring that one in now. No, click it. All right. Off you go. I haven't got it yet. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. You're all right, all right. yes. You won't see it until you click it once. Right, so that's about. Show it. Yeah, Stoke on Trent. Is it? Right, and then click it to keep it on Stoke on Trent. Okay. So you can just keep putting these. You can keep putting these oh, all yes. over the place. Yes, you can put as many as you like, and you can change them, of course. Yeah. And then save it. Once the symbol is positioned, it's stored in the computer, but can be recalled. And we can actually see them back now from the colour monitor yeah. here. Although I'd selected a real mishmash of symbols, I thought it looked very impressive. The new graphics have been designed on an electronic paint box. It's quick for trying out loads of colours and shapes. The designer is Liz Jones, and she went through the different charts with me. First, she showed me the European weather map. Which is this one. Brilliant. For the holiday weather. Yeah. And then after that, we did this one, which is the Atlantic chart. But we found that the data coming from the weather center only fitted into an area in the middle, so we had to design this box. In her plans for the new graphics, Liz had to work out how the weathermen would fit in. The space at the side of the box leaves room for Bill and his colleagues to get in the picture. Is it felt to be important to keep the weatherman very much in the picture in the future? Yes. I've got a picture here of Bill Giles. So he can, <laughs> he can either stand, stand here or if there's some interesting information coming on here. Right. He can stand the other side, which I can show you. For Liz, designing with the electronic paint box makes anything possible. Can you make him stand on his head? Here he is. Oh, you can as well. Yeah. Mind-blowing technology. Have you finished all the designing now? Has it, it's all been done? Um, no, we're still working on the clouds. Now, what does this say? Is it going to rain heavily or...? 
scattered showers. I think this is say. this is scattered showers. Is it? Right. Which we're trying in paler grey, and then heavier rainfall we're having in a darker grey. We're not sure that they're the right colours yet, so. Mm. You... So you can get any colour cloud you want then. Would you like to make any suggestions? Well, it's a great temptation to say bright pink. You know. There oh, wonderful! Yeah. Do you plan to show any new information? Yes, the weathermen have asked for a league table which will show which cities in the UK have had the most rainfall, or in this case, the most sun. Right. And the numbers are hours of sunshine, but they're not actually accurate at the moment. No, I was going to say, that's pretty good, 35. Yes. Yeah. So what other wonderful things have you got to show me? Oh, that's and nice. Across the top. That's good. And then we've got space for the weatherman, right. which could be you. Oh, there he is. That'll be the day. But it was to happen sooner than I thought. Next stop was the weather studio itself, where rehearsals were in full swing. One of the big advances in weather presentation is this projector. All the graphics worked out by Bill and his colleagues are back projected onto this screen. It gives a very faint image, and when the lights go up, the image virtually disappears altogether. But standing here, the weatherman can still see the outline of the chart, and he can point out details on it. Now the clear sharp image that you see on your screens is electronically overlaid onto this blue area. What's more, to help the weatherman, when he looks into the camera, there's an auto cue system which gives him a picture of himself and the chart that he's talking about. There's a lot of snow coming in down here. I think I'll have to put my long johns on tomorrow. As the rehearsal started, weather information was coming in from the meteorological office at Bracknell. With the aid of a computer link-up, all the latest information is flashed through in seconds. Press it now, Ian? While Bill was preparing for his first rehearsal, I went to the control room to watch things from the other side of the camera. Despite all the technology, predicting the weather comes down to what the weatherman thinks is going to happen. And that day's forecast was particularly difficult. It's over the Midlands at the moment, so in that area, driving conditions, I think, are pretty bad. Let's just have a look and see on the Atlantic chart the reason for this. And you can see the Atlantic chart here. Well, the little kink of, uh, in the isobars there, a good deal of cloud, and that's bringing rain up from the southwest. But as it comes up against this high pressure ridge... That night, it snowed heavily around the British Isles, and next day, the weathermen were accused of getting it badly wrong. But in the rehearsal, which wasn't transmitted, Bill made a clear forecast of snow. On television later that evening, he talked only of rain turning to snow. Remember, these are areas of cloud and emerging, I think, later on. In fact, rainfall shows us this, and these are rainfall pictures, these white areas, uh, fairly heavy rain, pushing its way up across the country, but turning to snow as it comes inland. If you want to see the sunshine, go north. It'll be there, but there will also be one or two snow showers mixed in as well. Well, that's it from me. <coughs> see you again tomorrow. <laughs> Winter draws on, really, and at half past six, that's just over an hour from now, you can see the new weather news using all that technology. Mm, there's no doubt the new system is a huge improvement, so good luck to Bill, Michael and Ian.